This tutorial will guide you on how to set up VWDOT. Before inserting the SD card into VWDOT, it is necessary to build up a setup file which is called VW Setup. Just follow the steps below. First, please insert the SD card into your computer. Then you will see a text file called VW Setup. Please double click to open it. We'll go over the four required settings first because they are essential for activating VW Dot. There are sweep, interval hour, interval minute, and daytime. Here's a friendly reminder you must put a pound and a dollar sign at the end of each setting line. The combination of the sign is very important. It is a command line which tells VW Dot that the setting has been completed. Let's first talk about the sweep setting. This is sweeping frequency setting. Choose A to D based on your sensor frequency range. Here comes the measuring interval and time settings. VW Dot will record and transmit data if MBIoT is enabled based on the interval you set. For example, if you enter 1 at interval hour and enter 5 at interval minute, your VW Dot recording interval will be every 1 hour and 5 minutes. For interval hour, the unit is an hour and the range is from 0 to 1000. For interval minute, the unit is in minutes and the range is from 0 to 55. In addition, you must enter the multiples of 5. The next setting is data time. You can choose manual or network for synchronizing the device time. If you choose network, please enter the time zone based on your location in the GMT offset. For example, the time zone for Taiwan is plus 480, so this is what we enter here. Remember that the unit here is in minutes. If you enter manual here, you need to connect your VW dot to a computer via serial terminal application such as putty.exe in order to set up the time. If you choose to enter manual at this row, you don't need to enter anything at the GMT offset row. Before we talk about the rest of settings, we'll show you three functional options for VW Dot. These options are Standalone Data Logger, Wireless Data Logger with Sanlian Cloud Service, and Wireless Data Logger with your own cloud service. If you wish to turn your VW Dot into a standalone data logger, please enter Yes at Disable MBIoT. In addition, you have to enter Manual at Daytime. Furthermore, if you choose the standalone option, you don't need to enter anything for the settings after Disable MBIoT. If you choose to use VW Dot as a wireless data logger, please enter No at Disable MBIoT. Please enter 28 at MBIoT band. 28 represents the MBIoT frequency which your telecom company provided. For example, we enter 28 here for band 28. This is the frequency band for MBIOT in Taiwan. Please enter MBIOT at APN. APN stands for Access Point Name for Wireless Service. You have to check with your telecom company for this command line. For example, your local telecom company may use MB-IoT instead of MBIOT. If you want to use our .cloud service, please enter Sanlian with all capital letters in server IP row. We strongly recommend using our DOT service if you wish to have a smooth and complete service on wireless monitoring. In addition, once you purchase VW DOT, we'll provide a one-year complimentary free service for using DOT. If you do not want to use Sanlian cloud service, it is possible to connect VW DOT to your private register MQTT broker. Please enter your MQTT server IP, server port, username, password, and data path on the section below. For your reminder, the data path is the same as the topic in MQTT. Here's an example if you are using Adafruit service. Now we have completed all the settings for VW Dot. The final step is to insert the SD card into the SD card slot in your VW Dot. If you're interested in our VW Dot, please visit www.sanlian.com and feel free to contact us. Sanlian Technology, 
be the frontier of environmental monitoring.